so weird. Like I'm gonna pass out. Sit down. Hey there, people. <laughs> Do you think the if people you heard that? Saw, I'll just put that out. If you saw the switch that was just flipped, it was like... No. They did see it. I was recording it. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. understand the preparation and uh, <laughs> craziness it takes just to figure out angles and lighting. It's a mess. But anyway, well, go ahead. Because the lighting in our house at night sucks. All right, but anyway. Door to face, actually. We are here to talk about what happens when you don't... We haven't consistently listed anything in four months, right? August Would 23rd was the last time we listed until... The other day. You know what that means? It means our algorithm is in the shitter. Yeah, so the algorithm is really, 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 really important <laughs> because the more you list, the more your items are in the search and you're more in play and you're showing eBay and Poshmark and Macari. Hey, we're not inconsistent. So we got to get back to being consistent. Right? Yeah, so also, too, with not being consistent in listing, something mm -hmm. else we were not consistent in uh, was sourcing. So, we decided, let's go to the bins! <laughs> My favorite place! Uh. Not. Okay, but I did find definitely one amazing item in the bins. And, well, actually two, because the second one was one of my very, very good friends, Beth. Let's, let's throw her in there. We're gonna, I'll put in a little clip of her because you gotta meet Beth. She's amazing. And I want her to be on our show. She wants to do reselling. Yeah. She should do it. Beth, do it. Anybody? That's, that's why her, tell her, Beth to her do and it. her sister-in-law yeah. popped into the bins as we Yeah, I was so excited and surprised. So here's Beth and me. Look, Leanna won't want to do it. Oh, Look who I ran into. I, Goodwill bins. I'm here. I picked her right out of a bin. Okay. Now, back to business. Bay, can you continue? Because I need water. Because I'm parched. All right. So, as most people know, the main thing I go to the bins for is hats. And I scored major hats. I scored 60 hats. And I'm going to show you. First off, let me just show you this. Oh my gosh, you got 60 son of a bitchin' hats. So, son of a bitchin' hats. Like, both of these bags were filled with hats. And yes, I am cut off, but hey. But I'm just gonna show you real quick out of, I've listed. He's gonna show you. He's gonna show, show you. you. I've listed show about him. 20 hats so far. I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of some of the good, better hats that I've listed. I don't know who said he gets to go first, but all right. Well, you were drinking water. Water, like we say in Philly, water. Speaking of Philly, this Mitchell and Ness hat, great company out of Philly, which is a great brand to always be on the lookout for. Mitchell and Ness, Cleveland Browns hat. It does have a little bit of wear, you see up top, but still could probably get 20 to 25 bucks for this hat. Not bad for a quarter investment. Another brand to always be on the lookout for, Carhartt, Carhartt, trucker hat, camo, Another $20 bill right there. Jazz hands for that. A Boy Scouts hat. You know, I just grabbed, I just grab all the hats and then hope and figure something will be good. Again, another $20 bill right there. And the big, so far, major score was this hat right there. Mm. I saw it, I thought it was pretty cool. I even said to myself, if it's not worth anything, I might keep it for myself. A Goren Bros, Goren Bros, as in Goren Brothers. It says Life of Leisure, Land and Sea, and it's selling for 95 hours. Cha-ching. Nice. All right, so I, when we go into the Goodwill bins, sometimes, like every once in a while, I am excited to go. I was excited this time because we hadn't been there. 
And um, as soon as I went in, so I go one way, Bay goes another way. And sometimes, you know, if you go to the Goodwill outlet, we were, actually went later in the day. So everything already had been dug through. Digged through? Dug through. Dig through. So in a bin where there were toys, tucked away, I found this. So I was like, this is, a, I don't know, there's something cool about it. It's in really good condition. I like the designs. This is leather. So I open it up, and this is the name on it. Uh, Hyamen Pooch, or Jamin Pouge. I don't know how do you say that. It sounds no really expensive. Like well, it's it went from, from, France. It's from it France. went from Target to Target right. real quickly. So I was like, I don't know. I'm gonna put this in the cart because, like, we put every we'll just throw stuff in our carts and then we assess. Is that right? That mm -hmm. we assess. So it comes to find it. I did not find this exact one because I'm pretty sure that these designers are. I did a little digging. It's two different designers. It's their first one's first name, one's last name. They're from France, and they are. They. I don't know if this is vintage because I looked at their new collection, and nothing like this is on there. I couldn't find this exact bag. One similar to this was selling for a hundred dollars. So I put it up there for hundred dollars. Let's see what happens. I just put it up today, and uh, and it's really cool also bag. Super lightweight. We probably Very only paid a dollar, dollar fifty tops for it. Look, did that hurt? No, didn't even hurt him. <laughs> but anyway, also this was really cool. I thought I don't know if you could tell, but there's like this really cool bead. I don't know. All right, so there was that. Then amidst the bins was. So this sticking out, this really pretty little cup. Don't mind the, the nails, the nail polish. <laughs> Terrible, embarrassing, sorry. But I'm so busy digging, I don't have time to do my nails, right? Now, we go back there. But anyway, so I thought, I was like, this is definitely like a vintage teacup. I love, you know, I love vintage stuff. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. Can they see it? Can you see it? I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it. Me either. I took my glasses off, too. But it says it was made in Germany. Google lensed it. So the teacup usually comes with a saucer, and a couple of them that are very similar to this sold for, what, $40? Mm -hmm. So I put this up for 20 mm -hmm. I believe. So let's see what happens. And we probably paid a quarter for it. Yeah, it was like a quarter. It's very lightweight. But the thing that was really cool to me is that it's not even chipped, nothing. And it was like just thrown in a bin. So that was cool. So this is my big story. I saw this bag, okay? I don't know if you could tell on camera, but it just looks so cool. And it's pretty heavy. I, I weighed it today, it's 1.2 pounds. So it's a heavy bag. So we paid $1.75 for it. $1.75 and like, just let me show you some of the detail of it it's very cool and i'm like this looks like somebody handmade it is it alligator what is it i look inside though and the thing is it says so the main tag was cut out i don't know if you could see it but the main tag on top was cut and then this says made in china and like the the inside of it is not like suede or leather like it's just like this material what kind of material would you think say this is uh, it's i don't like know silky i don't know if it's like ram or polyester i don't know so but there was just something about it and then my friend beth came in and i was like hey what do you think about this bag and beth was like you should totally get that like it it's just cool and it could be alligator so i start google lending it when i get home and crocodile bags kept coming up. Crocodile, crocodile. But none that looked just like this. I don't know. So I put it up on Instagram today and I asked, I was begging for people to help me because I usually can figure this out with Google Lens and researching. But alas, I had one friend, Nikki, thank you. If you watch this video, love you, appreciate you. She, she has a friend that like deals with this kind, kind of stuff. This kind of merchandise like exotic bags and different accessories 
She thinks it's not real because of the inside. Because she said it would usually be like suede or leather inside. I don't know. I still think it's a cool bag. Even if I looked up like knockoff crocodile and alligator bags, and I could still probably get like $30 for this, even if it's fake. Cause it's so cool. Are you getting a good look at that? Look at that. Hey, look at that. I see it. I've been seeing it the last three days. <laughs> he didn't want me to buy it, of course. Well, the funny thing is, like, no, I, no, don't, I, don't. I really truly noticed this the other day. So when we meet up after our searches, I look at my car and it's like pretty much like I've already gone through it as I'm looking and getting and I already know. All right. And I'm usually just getting hats, some shirts, maybe something else cool that I came across. I look at her car and it's just like. What? Weirdo it's just stuff. Like, it's like, weirdo stuff. It's like weirdness. It's all like, like just like you, she showed you. Like things, like I would not look at it and be like. He put a lot of stuff back. This is oh, like I, nothing. I put, my, my cart was filled. Her cart was filled, like, and I no, think we, no good, we no kept like five things out of 30. So, But, just want to remind you and the viewers out there. The first, one of the first purchases I ever made was at the Spring Hill Goodwill here in Tennessee. It was a painting, Baron Von Negge, original painting, original signature in paint. Bought it for how much? Six dollars. Sold it for how much? Two fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Just, just saying. So my my instincts usually are good. Okay. Right. So okay. zip it up. Oh, what did you? My necklace? You oh. Ask? Oh, yes, oh yeah. Necklace. By the way, this necklace is a vintage necklace. You can't tell, so you'll have to go to our eBay store or Poshmark or Macari. Is it on Macari too? Yes. It says Hercule on these coins. It has these beautiful blue stones. It's a vintage necklace. And uh, it's on sale now in the Coco Bay official store. <laughs> All right. also, also, too, oh, real yeah, quick, I'm going to run through this. Something else I grabbed real quick and always be on the lookout for. Oh, yeah. Not just Pizza Hut, but employee like stuff like this that employees wear, shirts, hats, etc. They always sell for pretty half decent money, sometimes really good money, and also they sell quick, which is another beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And speaking of employee, you know, we are in Nashville. Oh, we are? Thank so, you. So, Kelly Clarkson, oh, yeah, that's uh, cool 2019 too. tour jacket. This is like a crew jacket. It's got the sponsor on the sleeve. So, uh, paid like a buck for this, and they sell for anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. Cha-ching. So, there you go. So, we're back at the bins, we're back listing, we're back cross-listing, mm. and now we're just waiting for our algorithm to come back. Mm. How long will that take? I don't know, we'll let you know. We've, been, we've listed uh, mm. about 25 items the last two days, and we have uh, plenty no, more. more. 20 yesterday, 20 today. Yeah. I just said 25 items the last two days. That know. makes it sound like between yesterday and today. Oh, no, no. So there you go. So we're back, baby, and help us come back even more. Go down below, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you say, drop a comment, and uh, stay tuned for plenty more because we have more, 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 and people are asking more, for the more, restaurant more. stories. <gasps> Restaurant stories are coming next. We're going to do a whole separate series on restaurant stories. <laughs> Stay tuned.